We're going to do a short visualization. Uh, visualization is similar to meditation, but the difference is that I'm going to tell you what to do. So you don't need to focus on your breath or anything. I'm searching my script. <clears throat> Sit comfortably, breathe in a relaxing way. Put things out of your hands, you're probably not going to need them. And it's just going to take two, three minutes, so it's, it's short. Uh, if you want to, you can close your eyes if that helps you focus. Um, if you don't want to close your eyes, just focus on the chair. And now, imagine that somebody you love is sitting in that chair. Somebody who's not actually in the room. Imagine what it looks like when they are sitting in front of you in that chair. Imagine what they would be wearing <coughs> and how it would sound and how they would sit. Change your body's position so that you are sitting the same way that they are on that chair in front of you. What does it feel like having that person you love sit in front of you, share this space with you? How would you call that feeling? And where does that feeling exist in your body? Place a hand on that spot where that feeling exists most in your body. And now, double it in size and intensity. Make it bigger, brighter. Make it more colorful, more intense. And now, remember an experience you shared with that person. Any memory, anything you remember, could be big or small, something you remember and feel grateful for. And send that person love and gratitude for that specific moment that you shared. Imagine being back with them in that moment. Breathe the way you did then. Notice the sensations you experience as you're imagining being back there with them in that moment. Indulge in those experiences for a bit. And then in your own time, gently bring your attention back to this moment, into this room, to the empty chair. <coughs> what happened? Feel connected? And with the experience. Hmm? And with the experience. Mm -hmm. You've experienced. And all the emotions kicked in. Mm -hmm. Emotions kicked in. We feel energized. Energized? Anything else? More focused. Present. present. I was more present in the in the emotion than in the room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. More present in the emotion. Yeah. 
One thing that's fascinating about our brains is that they can't really tell the difference between imagination and reality. Right? As soon as we visualize something, um, this is why movies work so well and why books elicit so many emotions and stories, because our brains are really not good at telling the difference. Why would we do this in a leadership class? What, what learning could one have from this experience? To remember the good things and the great achievements that we did and be grateful for that. Mm -hmm. And to enjoy life. Mm -hmm. It's a resource you can use whenever you want to feel like this. You know that it just takes a minute of imagination and an empty chair. And I'm probably not letting you in on a secret when I tell you that it doesn't really need to be an empty chair. You can do that without the chair. I did this recently in London in a training and there was a Vodafone manager in the room and he said, I do this in meetings when I've lost all love for my colleagues. I thought, wow, that's, that's an excellent strategy. <laughs> so if you just want to replenish this, this feeling of gratitude and um, loving your life or uh, just being in the moment, being focused, um, eliciting those emotions, um, that's a resource you can use. And another flip side is um, knowing that emotions of this intensity can be elicited just by your imagination. The next time you are very upset, you can ask yourself, hmm, am I upset at reality or am I, am I upset <coughs> at an empty chair? Is there, is there really a problem? And is it really that big? <laughs>